Please welcome Gerald J. Sanders, CEO, Skytran Incorporated. Thank you. Thank you all for having me. Simple question, who loves traffic? Come on, let's hear it. Who loves traffic? <laughs> Nobody? Oh, you do back there. Okay, I've got good news for you. You're going to get more of it. This is our world. Traffic doesn't matter if you're in Manhattan or Mumbai, London, Luanda. This is our world, and it's getting worse. We're getting more cars, population's growing, the middle class is growing in India, China, other places in Asia. The first purchase those families make is the automobile. And the bad news is what not being told by the innovation and transportation people is that this congestion is no different with shared cars, because shared cars are actually on the road more time than a car that's not shared. Public transportation is on the roads, clogging our arteries. Self-driving cars, we heard before how you're going to be able to sit in your car and watch TV and, and talk to your friends. Well, then wh why do you have to do that in your car? <laughs> Surface traffic, taxis, electric cars, carpools, they're all stuck in the same traffic, all of them. And so unless we change this surface traffic paradigm, we're going to get pollution. And there are kids in India, there are kids in China, there are kids in the Philippines who haven't seen a blue sky and sunshine since the day they were born. What is the solution? Well, some people say more roads. Let's build more roads. But every study, LSC, London School of Economics, MIT, uh, the, the um, Property and Environmental Research Commission, I could go on and on with as many alphabets as you like, have shown definitively the more roads you build, the more traffic you get. I'm sure each of you has experienced this. They call it vehicle kilometers traveled, rises in direct proportion to available lanes of kilometer roadway. So you build more roads, you get more traffic. No magic there. The 21st century solution is a system that will go as fast as a bullet train, will use less energy than a hybrid car, will operate like a computerized car, will be free of traffic just like a subway is, will ride above the traffic, and it's called Skytran. What is Skytran? Well, this is what it is. As you can see, it's very cool. It's elevated flying transportation. It goes above the traffic. It's about one-tenth the cost of light rail and one one-hundredth the cost of a bullet train. And it's energy efficient. It doesn't pollute has a tiny footprint, a small 18-inch pole, supports the entire framework, and it's assembled on site, so you don't have to close the city. Anybody who's been in Tel Aviv knows we're looking at seven years of disruption because of one light rail line. Who are we? Well, we're a NASA Space Act company, and we're based at the Ames Research Center in California, and today we have the great fortune of working with Israel Aerospace Industries as a co-developer. Skytran, as I mentioned, costs less to build and operate than any other transportation. We're slightly more than a sidewalk. How does it work? Well, I'm going to show you, because thanks to our Microsoft friends, I have some equipment here. What you're looking at here is plastic and aluminum. Plastic, as you know, is non-magnetic and has no iron. Aluminum, as you may not know, also has no iron and is not magnetic. What I have in my hand is a magnet. Well, let's see what happens when I drop the magnet from the plastic to the aluminum. It drops straight down. Now, why is that? Because of gravity. We all know that. No surprise there. But look what happens when I change the orientation of the magnet and I drop it from the plastic to the aluminum. Boom, almost a complete stop. Now, why is that? That's because I lied. Aluminum, although it's not magnetic, has what physicists call loose electrons. And these loose electrons do interact with magnets. How do they do that? They act like invisible fingers trying to stop that magnet from landing. They counteract the force of gravity. Now, anyone who's been on a roller coaster 
has experienced this phenomenon because this is how roller coasters stop. So our NASA engineers said, well, what if we took this force, it's called an eddy force, what if we took this eddy force and used it to our advantage to create something we now call magnetic wings? So here, magnets, two magnets, we attach them together, we angled them, we drop them from the plastic, and boom, what you're seeing is, in effect, magnetic flight. There we go, so it's a magnetic glider. And they said, well, what if we took these wings and we attached our SkyTran vehicle to it, and that's what I'm gonna do now. And we gave it uh, some propulsion, and that's what I'm also gonna do now with the help of this little yellow band. I'm going to pull this vehicle forward towards me, and it should just come straight to me, right? But actually what you see is flight, it lifts off. Now why does it lift off? I'm gonna show it to you again. It lifts off because of these magnetic wings. These magnetic wings, as soon as you give them some sort of propulsion, want to rise, want to fly. And what you're seeing, and this is what's key, is you're seeing basically levitation that is cost-free. All we're doing is providing the propulsion. As soon as we start moving, the vehicle lifts off. As soon as you lift off, no friction. When you reduce friction or eliminate friction from transportation, your energy use drops and you can go very fast. How fast? 150 miles an hour. That's about 240 kilometers an hour. And we can do this, as I said, using less energy than a hybrid car. Now, what else is cool about the system is that we don't stop at anyone else's station. It'll follow your schedule. And it is very, very inexpensive to build and operate. How do we get propulsion? I mentioned that we have to somehow push this vehicle forward. Well, we do it with a simple rotary motor on which we have magnets. And what happens with that rotary oh, motor the drive. is, uh, whoops, what you see here is this um, magnetic motor inside an aluminum sleeve. And uh, here yeah, we go. The drive system. Will we get uh, regenerative braking? So when that aluminum sleeve is fixed, ah, what happens is the magnets in the Don't motor smiling. go forward. Okay. And when the magnets in the motor go forward, our wings, these are our magnetic wings, lift up the vehicle and this whole thing flies using very little energy. So we're, can, we can go on top of the rail, we can go below the rail, no matter how you slice it, we're best in class. And this is what we're doing today at IAI. We're constructing this system full demo system. Until now, we've only built subscale systems. This is a full-size system going on at Israel Aerospace Industries at the moment. And uh, we now have our, what we call our bogey, flying on the guideway at IAI. And uh, we're very pleased to be doing that here in Israel. So tomorrow, we hope to be rolling this out in all of these places and cities that have already requested systems from us. And we're going to keep the planet blue. Thank you very much.